All our lives we are told that slim is healthy and healthy is slim. You see, we humans have never been more insecure about our bodies than we are today. And this mindset is not helping us. What is it helping? The global health and wellness industry, which is currently worth $4.2 trillion. How did it get here? Welcome to the world of false advertising. Welcome to part one of the video where I reveal shocking truths about how food brands are fooling us to buy their expensive so-called healthy products. I'll also be sharing healthy alternatives to these products which you can make at your home and save your money. So watch the video till the end and for more rare content consider subscribing and hit that bell icon to get notified whenever I post a video. You know what is not your healthy BFF? Healthy snacks, low calorie, fat free, cholesterol free, air fried, bake not fried. None of these claims matter. Ingredients do. Any low fat snack has a lot of added sugars. They hide controversial ingredients under technical names. Like in Europe, MSG or monosodium glutamate, which is used in Chinese dishes, is masked as E621. What we think as healthy brown bread also contains toxic substances like potassium bromide and potassium iodate. Potassium iodate causes thyroid and potassium bromide is a cancer-causing agent which is banned in the European Union, Sri Lanka, South Korea etc. But it is still used in India to make bread soft and fluffy. But the bread companies don't even mention the names of these ingredients that they use and they cover it under the name of preservatives and additives. Many low-calorie, zero-sugar products contain a harmful toxin known as aspartum. Aspartum is so toxic that it can cause enlargement of heart, diabetes, obesity, increase in blood pressure and many other irreversible diseases. So replace that low-calorie, actually unhealthy snacks with healthy homemade alternatives like roasted makhana in ghee or upma, poha, any seasonal fruit or homemade namkeen. The recipe to low-fat homemade namkeen link is given in the description box below. You can also watch that video. Rather than having the harmful sugar-free products, you can opt for having the alternatives of sugar like coconut sugar or date sugar, stevia, honey or jaggery. Here's what you should not count on, the highest selling wellness product, green tea. In 2019, the green tea market was worth $18.4 billion. This tea is branded as the elixir to health, two cups a day and you can burn calories, prevent diabetes and cancer. Really? If green tea would be preventing cancer, then our cancer researchers would be vacationing in Switzerland, perhaps sipping a cup of green tea itself. You cannot depend on green tea itself to lose weight. Trust me, I've tried it. What it does do is that it improves metabolism, which by the way, any tea can. Black, blue, green, oolong, matcha, anything. Coming to the green tea antioxidant properties, science says that the theoflavins in the black tea and the catechins in the green tea are equally effective. So rather than having the expensive green tea, you can have black tea or herb infused tea or even moringa tea which can cure over 300 diseases. Nowadays, there are many expensive immunity boosters being sold in the market. On analyzing its contents, I figured that we can make this at home for one fourth of its price. For making an Ayush Kadha or immunity boosting decoction for COVID-19, take a pan, heat water, add tulsi or holy basil, half inch dalchini or cinnamon, half inch ginger and a few black peppercorns. Heat it till it remains half and drink this with one tablespoon of honey when it is lukewarm. Here's what else you should not count on. Gluten free. These products are such a fad. Wellness bloggers say that gluten free is the secret of staying healthy. What does science say? Gluten is a mixture of proteins like gliadins and glutalin found in carbohydrates like wheat, barley and rye. Are they bad for our health? No, they aren't. You do not need to buy gluten-free products unless you have celiac disease or are gluten sensitive. Gluten-free takes away the much needed carbs. An average gluten-free product is 242% more expensive than their variant that contains gluten. So rather than using gluten-free, avoid using refined or processed wheat and use wholesome grains and millets like whole wheats that is chokar yukt gehu, rice, maize that is makka, oats, quinoa and millets like bajra and ragi. You can check out my video on how to make atta wheat bread at home with no yeast, no maida, no egg and no oven. The link is given in the description box below. What's next? Vitamin water and energy drinks that claim to be healthier than soda. Vitamin plus water. That is all we need. Well, what some of us really need is a reality check. 
Each bottle of vitamin water contains 8 tablespoons of sugar. Ads, packaging, advice, it can all be sold. Did you know that Coca-Cola paid scientists to put forward the message that exercise is a more effective tool for weight loss rather than cutting down on food and drinks? Cold drinks and other energy drinks have a lot of added sugars and other harmful chemicals. Substitute it with homemade bulletproof coffee, black tea or simply water. This will keep you energized throughout your workout rather than harmful sugary vitamin energy drinks. So next time if a product claims to be healthy and backs its claims with studies, take it with a pinch of salt.